Hi friends, it's Monica and let's read Iron Flame together. This is the second book in the Empyrean series, the first book being Fourth Wing and I'm quite sure you've all heard about Fourth Wing by now because it's very very popular on Book Talk. A quick summary for this one is that we're set at a college for dragon riders and we're following 20 year old Violet Storingale who is entering this college. There is a fierce competition to bond a dragon and that in itself is deadly. Also, Violet is the daughter of the general and that puts a huge target on her back, especially for the wing leader, Zayden. Some more expectations I have going into this book. I want more action, I want more romance, and I just want to be entertained. And I hope to see Violet coming into her own and honing her power more. And of course, I want to see more of the dragons. With all that being said, there are spoilers for book one, Fourth Wing in this one because it is the second book. And if you have not yet read Fourth Wing, skip this video and come back once you have. Anyways, let's just get to the reading log. For my first check-in, I am around 20% of the way through. There's over 100 pages in and this will be my initial reaction. Right off the bat, the writing still feels very YA and I'm hoping that won't change but I don't think it will. There are curse words and really graphic scenes and people dying left and right and I think that's what makes it adult and we got that little warning in the front that is saying this is a graphic book with all the trigger warnings and stuff but the plus side for that is the book is very easy to read and it's very accessible for people that are not usually reading fantasy so that is the good thing about the YA feeling type of writing. Also a little note before I get into the characters is that I really like the further in-depth information that we're getting like little snippets here and there about the dragons and how they are developing and also having the bond between the characters and their dragons like being in their in their head all the time is very funny and we get really timely commentary from the dragons and it's really nice to see that. Moving on to Violet, she is still a little bit salty at Xander because of lying to her about the rebellion and also knowing that her brother is alive. I think she's acting in a normal way here. Also with her starting the second year of the college, there are still people trying to kill her so there's nothing new on that front. I think Violet will excel at school as well as her rebellion cause and helping them out because we love a multitasking queen. <laughs> Zayden so far is a little bit distant because he's been assigned to a far outpost so we don't really see much of him. But he's still very flirty and overprotective with Violet and I think they will continue to build their trust again and have their romance blossom again. And then I did have to mention that Dane showing up on the page and I love that Violet is so annoyed by his presence and I'm like yes, that's exactly how I feel about Dane. So I want to see less of him. What I'm hoping to see next in the book is more action and more romance but I think those two things are building up and I want to see all our enemies perish but there is going to be five books in this series so that will eventually happen. I really am enjoying my time reading this book and I'll see you in the next check. So I just got to the halfway point of this book in the beginning of part two which is around 330 pages in and so much has happened in the past 200 pages but we are getting a lot more detail of the rebellion cause and i am loving that the world building continues to get better in this book and i feel like i'm liking iron flame a lot better than the first book fourth wing because we're getting a lot more layers of the world building coming together and it's making a lot more sense to me now there's also more political intrigue surrounding an impending war as well as more secrets being revealed to Violet which is good because I feel like she's been out of the loop for so much of the rebellion cause and because of Zayden not telling her anything. Another thing that I found was compared to book one, there was more of a feeling of a found family with fourth wing, with the fourth wing squad and it just feels like everyone's been bonded since their first year and after 
panicking over first year of bonding a dragon they finally have found some time to truly form that strong friendship in their squad and i really love that for violet at first i really liked the effects of the betrayal that violet was feeling and how that really affected her relationship with zayden but i did not want it to last so long into the book because if it was the entire book that would have been really bad <laughs> but let's see after i finish off the book and see what happens with them both violet and zayden are more secure in the relationship now and i like how they match each other in various levels such as making an impossible plan and carrying out that plan successfully because we see both of them do that going forward i can't wait to see what happens next for these two and for the plot and i also want to mention i really love taryn and andarna their little conversations are honestly the best part of the book for me and i'm just going to hope that this book concludes really well okay now that i am completely finished with iron flame i have some mixed feelings and honestly i'm a little bit disappointed in how this book ended my final rating for this book is a 3.5 out of 5 stars and let's start off with what i did not like about this book at first i was ignoring the writing style while reading it just ended up sticking out like a sore thumb it felt very YA-esque. I couldn't get past it. Although there is a lot of violence and gore and sexual content, that's what bumps it up to that adult rating. I just couldn't get past like the YA-ness or the young tone of the writing style. It didn't match the violence that was on the page. And then I thought the pacing of the book was a little bit off. For the first part of the book, it was really slow and it got a little bit too slow but after the 50% mark of the book that is when I got sucked back into the story. Another major thing I did not like was that there was like a lack of care for these side characters and honestly for Zayden there was just a lack of disconnect for me and if something happened to a side character I was like oh okay that happened to a side character. I think that just is connected to the style of writing as well. For Zayden, he really annoyed me in this book because he was keeping so many secrets from Violet but then with the relationship part for Violet and Zayden, they were on another level in this book and not in a good way. The thing that annoyed me the most was that neither of them were addressing the elephant in the room and they were waiting on the other person to take action instead of initiating a conversation and being like, okay, here is what is up. I call this type of stage in relationship growing pains. There were a lot of trust issues on both sides, insecurities, mainly on Violet's side. Past relationships kept being brought up and I wanted some more emotional maturity from the both of them. Finally, without giving away any spoilers, I really did not like that ending. It just threw me off and it's the type of ending that does not make me want to pick up the next book so I'm really on the fence of if I even want to continue the series just because of that ending. <laughs> With all that being said, I know there were somewhat a lot of negatives, but I do have some positives about this book, so let's just dive into those positive things now. On the flip side with the adult fantasy genre this book does have a lot going for it such as the exploration of trauma and the after effects of traumatic events especially for violet and we see her trying to heal from being exposed to war and dragon fights and a lot of death around her so she is struggling with healing with all of that also, the political intrigue and the building tension with the impending like wider war with the ultimate enemies was very well done and that really helped expand my view of the world. And I really liked how we learned more of the wider scale of the world and the inner workings of the world through the college classes as well as the training scenarios and underlying secrets that are being brought to light. Those were the best parts of the book for me and it really did bring everything together. Another huge positive was that I love the fourth wing squad with Violet, Riddick, Imogen, Sawyer, and Rhi. They were all fantastic together. 
we see them after they experience first year and the trauma of that and now they have a really strong loyalty and friendship to one another and it was very nice to see that play out and it really did feel like a found family to me with all their dragons together and my favorite part were the dragons. I love Taryn and Adarna with their funny side conversations and Taryn being such a stern mentor to Violet and being that powerful but very grumpy dragon. And of course, I do want to touch upon Violet who is a protagonist. She has a lot of growth in this book aside from her insecurities that come out from her relationship. She's learning to actually have more control over her power. I continue to like seeing Violet find alternative ways to hone her body to be equivalent to a normal average writer. But with Violet, we do see her taking initiative and gaining strength in any areas that she may be weak in. Honestly, Violet is a great protagonist to read about and you really do end up rooting for her. Overall, there were positives and negatives for this sequel. However, the writing style still continues to be something that I might not be able to get over for book three, but I will make a final decision if I will continue with the series once more information comes out. Those are all my thoughts for this book, Iron Flame, and I hope you enjoyed watching this reading vlog. I had a fun time filming it for you. Comment down below what you thought of Iron Flame. I'm curious to know if anyone had similar thoughts that I did. And of course, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and also ring the bell to not miss any future uploads, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!